Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tiang Only campaign. We pick things back up for episode 15 from a very strange place in a pre-battle loading screen. As we can see here, we left off last episode as we got attacked during the end turn. The episode's running a little long, so we ended here. And we have the army of three generals, very powerful vanguards, Lü Bu, Gan Ning, Sun Ren, to take on two attacking forces buffed by their seasonal fire bonus that they activated, and it's led by Sha Ke, who definitely got confederated by uh, Lady Zhu Rong. So let's jump into this fight here and start battle. Alrighty, so we're loaded up in here, and it's a very difficult battle because they have very strong generals too, gold weapon, and honestly Sha Ke is very, very dangerous, uh, especially with the boost that they're getting from the faction bonus from Lady Zhu Rong. So we're going to evacuate away from the settlement. Uh, they have fire arrows as well, so we can't even use our towers. We're probably just going to try to go for a draw by running behind uh, the mine. It looks like they split their army into three pieces. We're going to take our... Well, they have tigers here. But well, they have tigers here as well. So how do we charge out? We could charge out from the front into the fire arrows dodge out and then loop really hard and then our infantry is really screwed or we just power through with our cavalry and generals right into them why pray out shouldn't be that hard and then our infantry can just kind of follow right behind and get out that way it just has to be fast Tiger is going to be an issue, but we'll try our best. Charge! Go, 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 go. Just start trying to run. Oh, uh, they lost sight. Let's kill her first. I don't really care about the tiger. They can't do that much to generals. Uh, some spears hiding in place, but I think we'll be okay. She can freeze skills. Actually, no. Come back here. Fight the general. Come on, come on, come on. Kill her. Reinforcements here. We gotta kill her fast. Come on. Uh, not everyone's gonna make it. That's okay. Keep moving. We're in low health again. Actually, just stay, just stay, just stay and fight. Let's clear a path for the infantry to make it. Go with the infantry. Why are you all the way over here? Go. Okay, I think we did it. We got our troops out. And no one really died. Surin took a big hit, but... Everyone's okay. Alright. I think we can skip the rest of this. Um, we're just gonna run to the back. We're gonna hide in the back. Um, there's no reason we should go fight them. Especially this dude right here. 4.3k armor piercing damage. So you can see that it's only 2.7, right? So you can see how much boost he's getting from the bonus that is being boosted by you know, their, their fire faction support effect. Uh, so we're staying away from their army. 
uh, way too much damage. We're going to try to run. I could leave them a little gif if they do chase. I could throw a lot of traps on the ground. That should murder a lot of them. These are on horseback. They don't have the traps. They can keep moving. They're actually chasing. Okay, actually then we might show a little bit because... Throw them out. Keep running. How did... How do they land on their own feet? They're killing themselves. Alright, once they leave, we'll throw a couple. Oh, they all threw it? I don't see the symbol on the ground, but they all threw it, apparently. Keep going. No, we slowed down too much. But the traps are working. They're killing people. Oh, this is going to be an intense run. Infantry is a little slow. But we want them to keep going with us. Uh, the tigers got us. Alright, not everyone's gonna make it, but not everyone should stay. Mm. We got dragged into it. Alright, it's fine. We have enough unit that made it out. Gotta use speed, I guess. They're all gonna get wiped. There's no hope. The good news is they're not capturing anything, so they're taking maximum damage right now. Heavy, you know, medium armor means really, really slow. Hmm. Hopefully, they end up burning some of their own troops. They bounce back, but then they get murdered. This one might bounce back. Yeah, it's ready plus 25. It's actually going to bounce back. Keep going, keep running, keep running. Can't outrun charge speed. The fire debuff right away. How much damage did he do? 45-13. Jeez. Alright, we're back to the front. Um This is gonna be tricky. It's not I don't even think this looping's that easy. So he's way too slow. I don't want him to get caught, so we're gonna leave him here. Surians ready wavering army loss. Outnumbered, yeah. If our morale crash, Lu Bu will not crash. So if we just kite him at 137 speed, we shouldn't lose this. Unless we misplay it really, really hard. So let's just assume I can kite the rest and we'll cut it out. Because I think I can and we'll see you guys at the end. If I fail and somehow we lose this, I'll show you guys that part too. So, see you guys at the end. Alright, we got the draw. It was very hard to fight them. And we just kind of stayed away for a while. And I'm still worried they might attack us again. So, let's see what happens. Alright, so we survived that one. And the two kingdoms are going at it. Perfect. Bunch of war against yellow turbans, couple of death, fight old age. So she was in our faction. How old was she? Sixty-eight. And I think she was on the bench. 
I don't think she was in any army or else we've been prompted about ret uh, retinue pass bys. Um, she was a um, bandit character, I believe. No, she wasn't. I'm actually not sure. She was... Yeah, I'm not sure actually what she was, so I'm not even going to guess. Wait a second. So, the Han faction leader, former Han faction leader, came with a gold bow, Huang Fu Song's bow. Okay, so we'll take this. Very good for us. Ma Wen is a burn officer. I'm gonna fire all three on the bottom here. Alright, Tui Yan. Goodbye. I think they're married to each other. I mean, we can quickly check everyone's traits here as well. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone good. Right, so who can help them? Let's first finish this. Oh, we still can't make it. One more turn. Brown Stallion. Hmm... I could just get them out. Lu Bu actually can kite them forever, but we said we don't want to loot, so we'll honor our own rules here and just let them take it. And we'll just have retake it. Now over here, I think Meng Huo is never going to summon himself, so perhaps it's better if we wipe them out let him go to another faction where they would summon him hmm, we're gonna take this and lose that but that's fine hold on let's get this Yeah, I think we'll do that. Can he win the delegate by himself? He can't reach. He also can't reach. I'm just wondering if they need to go help, or maybe we just keep chasing them. Kugodan sure can handle it. The problem is no fire arrow. Yeah, I think we can do it though. Alright, we're almost done here. We're gonna go here and then start our war with Yoel over here. They all hate Jashu. Hmm. Tao Tao declare war, but they're not actually falling for it. Doesn't want peace. Can confederate again. Like, we can ultimatum them. We don't actually have to fight them, and then we get to keep Liu Yao. Oh man, we're gonna get treachery hit again. It's okay. It when single digit, it's most like definitely a yes. I can fire him. What else did we get from the faction? 
Ooh, Matong ranked up. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Alright, so these two we picked up. Did we pick up another army? Yeah, where is she? Huh. We'll just fire her. Where is he? Oh, destroyer of treachery. Oh, he picked up Huang Fu Song's old right new, I think. They're really good units. I'd love to use them, but against the rules here. So we're gonna fire almost all of them. We'll keep Liu Yao, who is 55, with Huang Fu Song's. No, this is not Huang Fu Song's bow. This is Tai Shi Ci's bow, probably. 20% food production. Don't need that, but we'll keep him. But not the items. Did we get anyone else? Yeah, we did. This is the wife, isn't it? Yep. We can keep her, though. Humble is really good. I don't know why we got Liu Shao. I will fire him. Say goodbye to the really good retinue. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of these as well. He's probably gonna be administrator. I mean, or not. Doesn't have any really good trait for it. That means... We have too many allies. That means we just prepare for war with them. By them, I mean them. Um, can we assassinate him now? Next turn. So I'm going to wait till next turn to do this, and then do the assassination. It should work. I don't know why it didn't work before, but this way it should work. Might take a peek. I mean, they have one land left. I don't know what they have. Might just be a waste of money, though. Well, June's still air. 51. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it'll work. It worked. Extract. Not even gonna risk it. Come back to me. Perfect. You did your job. Now you can be disowned. I don't understand how we can chain confederate without cooldown. Anyways, there's no one that we really want. Just waiting for the civil war in a few turns, but in the meantime...
when the war starts. We have one, two, three. Actually, not all these armies will still be on the field because the Civil War split them. So we don't even have to worry about that. I could go to war with them, but they're also part of that weird alliance. You know what? This army can go take the the capital. Next turn they'll pop in the water. Head up close to Troll Twin. Yeah, that's probably what we will do. Why? I mean, we have like half our bar movement, but we can't get there. So sad. I guess we just sit tight. We don't have much money. Alright, we got this to tier 5. What do we want to build here? That's a good question here. Um, corruption is not a issue here, surprisingly. We are mainly dealing with... Okay, so the ideal build here is to just pop this to rank 5 and then start downgrading. Which means we don't want a long-term building here. We want something short-term with some benefits. So maybe a little bit of industry right now with uh, Forge. And even if we stay long-term, we can do an item-producing 20% industry building. Not too bad. It's young, young. Alright, we, we definitely could boost a corruption reduction somewhere. Like here. Alright. And that's our money. Hmm. Yeah, the South, the war against the Naman factions as we condense down to, you know, all the areas here. The resistance getting a little bit more fierce. Who can peace out with us? Just yellow turbans. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's continue. Zhuge Liang's army is getting attacked by... Oh, they're coming out to fight us. That's actually really good, because we're not going to do well in the op in the siege fight. But in the open field, we can do it cleanly here. So let's do it. We don't have fire arrows. It should be okay. Alrighty, here we are. At least it's not snowy or raining. So we have some pretty easy way to fight this. We have a nice hill here. I'm going to use that and just pop these down. Not really going to care about the fire. Yeah, we're just going to kite them. Mm. I don't want to be too close to that forest over there actually so we're gonna keep them right here put one right here no dueling we'll boost all range attacks once we start firing Just gonna wait for them to show up there they are I wonder if we get some sort of special message for Zhuge Liang wiping out Meng Huo's faction. I don't see us, Hans. Fog? Hmm. That actually hurts our accuracy, but we should be fine. Like, 99 ammo should be no problem. And then 58 on anyone not named Zhuge Liang. They sneak in through the forest. That would be quite smart, but let's see if we can find them. Also for them to find us. I want to drag them out to the open plains. Please come, come. That rock is actually a pretty good marker for our range. All 
right, let the kiting begin. Once the majority of the units are shooting, Rotation begin. They have to climb this hill, which they will never climb because we're gonna leave the hill by the time they try to climb it. Problem here is they have this second phase right here. Break out of the forest. I'm right, gonna hug closer. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Give them a little pressure from the backside. Generals are charging us, that's not good. Yeah, that unit's gonna take some losses. Finally got rid of those generals. Alright, here they come again. I really wish we had fire arrows. 
make this so much simpler. Yeah, which way to point your shield, my friend? Which way? Because we're everywhere. Range block chance is only good from the front. And we don't give you a chance to have a chance to get... Okay, so now... Feels like we're at the next phase. Time to charge the generals. You can still boost the range damage. Yeah, he's unbreakable. Roar on the other two. Kill the unbreakable. Murder him, murder him. Is he also unbreakable? Okay, they're both unbreakable. He's gone. Rotate on him. I mean, where is he? There he is. Oh, he's actually fighting Wei Yan. Wei Yan, use 5% of your health. Wipe him. There we go. Good job. Alright, now the way to the capital should be clear. Capital of Bung Huo's faction. One county left. And we're gonna be executing, executing, executing. And now they're taking the iron mine, which we'll let them. Alrighty. Ooh. The trade port. Right, take it. We'll have to march back and grab it now. Wow, war is non-stop. Um, this is a trade port. What, what, what else did it take? They took some close something else. It would be this um, trade port plus spice, right? No. Well, anyways, we'll take it back. Yeah, we have the spice. They took the... Um, the capital. This we got from executing. This is um, something we crafted, and Meng Huo is on the field. Zhuge Liang versus Meng Huo, Meng Yu, Meng Jie. Perfect. Perfect. The only thing that's bad is we don't have fire arrows, so I don't know how we can fight that fight. Because if you think about it, this is an iron mine. Like, how do we siege down iron mine with our army without fire arrows? That'll be tough. All right, let's grab this first. We've been waiting for this for such a long time. Now, how do we get out of this place? Like, this is a tough road. This is a tough road. Like, essentially, we have to recall. Like, that's my belief. We just have to pay the redeployment cost, which is insane, but... We have no choice. This is kind of like a dead end kind of kind of thing, so we just have to... We'll recall them later. Because if you... Five turns? Actually, that's acceptable. Because recall mustering time... Okay, let's cheat out a little distance. We'll do that. We can even march. Alright, we're definitely fighting this. So, they somehow attack this. How do they cross the mountain? How do they move so fast? That's my question. Oh man, they have help. Mm. I'm gonna get new missions. I don't know why this one never triggered. Because he came back on the same turn? That's the only possibility I can think about. Wait, what's happening in Tribi? Nothing's happening in Tribi. Why do we have to move a unit here for two of the missions? And then raise a force is another mission. I'm gonna use someone who I don't really care about. 
，众将且于堂前谈笑欢饮，有话直说。关某武艺绝伦，未逢敌手。All right. When the war breaks, the easiest path is actually from here down, because this takes too long to siege. So we want to go here, trespass all the way, or we can just sit here. That's too. That's too crazy. I think that's too much trespassing. We can do something like this. I don't mind this much trespassing.、Uh, we can go a little faster too. All right, reform time. I think we want that marketplace upgrade, and then the level five marketplace upgrade. But we have the silk one, so we have four and five right away. That's only one we needed. Perfect. Someone's unhappy with us. Ah, Lu Bu's wife. She's greedy and ambitious and lumbering. I'm just gonna fire her. I think the kids will stay with Lu Bu. And if we get Deltran, we can set them up. Right. Let's do the assassination first. And then we'll fight、uh, Zhuge Liang's fight. Interference to make sure there's no defense, and then assassinate the emperor. See, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense at all. So we murder suicide then. So both the leader and the heir dies in the same turn. What does Yuan Shao have? Wow, only generics. Okay, all right. So not a not not a big issue. And it's bugging out. Let's go back. No, there's no way. There's no available spy candidates. They're lying. I can't use my third spot. I can't send my own spies out. I don't know how it won't let us do anything. Zhang He is only one interesting. I don't think he's a family member. He's just in the court. Yep. Just keep an eye out on the whole faction. It's fine. He's returning to us. I don't know why I can't use my third spy. I mean, maybe it's still thinking I have another spy. Like Lady Feng hasn't registered as dead yet. Because if you look into the faction, I'm sure you can see Yuan Yao is still alive too. So our civil war plans falling apart. All right, we need to go back and fight them. We'll ambush. All right, let's end with this fight and、we'll、wipe out Meng Huo somehow in this iron mine. It's probably going to take a lot of casualties, but I think it'll be worth it. Well, decisive victory on the delegate, so I better do a good job here. Let's go. Alrighty, so we don't have fire arrows. That's my only concern, which means we can't touch any of these towers. Which means we can only tank them. So I don't know how we're supposed to get a decisive victory here. Maybe they'll charge out. Oh, <gasps> okay, decisive victory indeed. They they will charge out. They're insane. No one duels. I mean, he could. He'd probably win it. Wow, I, it's unbelievable. 
The problem is, once we kill one, all of them will get boost because it's family members. He has Unbreakable, so we have to eventually kill him. So I don't think we want to duel. We want to try to convince them to route. Okay, so this is how we uh, get a decisive victory. Just have them kind of follow us into the open field. The more open, the better. Fan out. Spread them out. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. A lot of value on that shield. Oh. They're shooting us from all over the angles. Monk <laughs> was like, we'll never surrender. Charge them on the hill. That's why I thought the units first and then we'll deal with the generals. Just damage him, don't kill him. to do his health. Alright, 5k is good. To the next. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Charge him, charge him. Don't kill him. Yep. Now damage him. Okay. Once he routes... Perfect. Now we kill the Unbreakable General. Zhuge Liang got smacked around, huh? Oh, it's okay. He'll bounce back, most likely. He's right here. Wait and get to him. Wait and here. Got him again. That move is really strong. I mean, you do have to use your own health, but it's worth it. Five percent. Alrighty. So Zhuge Liang got to wipe out Meng Huo, which is perfect. Any capture? Just Meng Yu. We'll also just release him. Oh, we can keep them as a vassal. 
That's historical too. Maybe he will rebel. We can trade with him. The problem is I kind of want this iron mine. I can vast- Ooh. I can't annex him? I can't annex him. He doesn't have the reforms. I can liberate him. And we can fight him again. He doesn't even want to trade with us. He doesn't have the reform to do so. Alright, how much do you have? Um, wow, okay. Wow, everyone hates this. I'll wait till he rebels against us. I guess that would be the play. Yeah, that would probably be the play. Alright, now at least we can help out over here. Alright, we gotta do all our buildings before we end turn. Xiangyang, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it as one of our income commanders, so I'm not gonna upgrade anything crazy. This will get us tier 4, we need tier 5, we'll get there. Jincheng, corruption so high. I think we just have to crave, have to like cave and go for that. But the whole point of this upgrade is to get this, so we have our own entrepreneur. That's no hurry. I'm gonna go with that because I think I want to keep this. Not enough money. Grain storage. Okay. Only a few hundred short. Kind of tempted. Ah, uh, cheaper here. Let's do it here. Corruption's too high. Jiangyang's income's more than Wudu and Jincheng. Jincheng's, yeah, all these must have timed out. Uh, it doesn't matter if you like it or not, but probably not the best place to boost this. Wudu is the best place to do that. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. 18 left in terms of income. Let's end turn here. Alright, Lady Jewel is still pushing into our land. Um, we can only just lose these. We can't do much. Okay. So Lady Phone takes over, but Lady Phone dies. So then there's going to be another switch next turn. And we still have three very excellent generals sitting on the bench. Given how they're moving this way, maybe we just move back. Yeah, maybe we just move back. 
Did he summon himself again? I can liberate him and then go to war with him. Which means every other faction will like us afterward. It's gonna be a treachery hit. But... I think it's at a point where it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> and we might as well just embrace the fact that we are treacherous. Yeah, Cao Cao's already slipping. I mean, we're getting too powerful. We just gotta finish the war over here. So, liberated him. They don't want to go to war with him, which is interesting. And now everyone's gonna like us for doing this, to get our points back. Cao Cao's not on this list. Huge hit. Maybe he will do it on us. And then we'll spend this time to go attacking them. Okay. It's just terrain. Terrain's wrecking us down here. So they grouped up. This is a fearsome combo. They ran away, knowing they can't beat us, but they ran to the wrong spot. Well, we're gonna take this first. Should I keep going down south? That's the question. Or I just trust them to slowly work out the situation here. It's kind of complicated. This is kind of rough. Because I don't have to go help. We have many ways to wipe this out. Alright, we're not helping. We're going to speed up this southern expedition. What we're going to do here is we're going to proxy out that army that we had earlier. Tachi 力求上进，回家的感觉真不错。Alright, now we can challenge them with the strength of our officers. 凭此一战，可定天下。立马行动。We have no army near here. The problem is, if I take this, the advantage is I become Emperor right away. The disadvantage is I can't get the Abdicate, and I have to take them slowly. But I don't think I can get the Abdicate anyways, because they're huge. And they have, like, so many army moving around down south. So it's just going to be rough. A lot of this is just going to be really rough. Okay, I'm going to be ready for that. Ooh, 
Go to. Burned officer. Wait, 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 wait. This is not Lord Jin. We grabbed the wrong one. Did I misclick? I thought I clicked the right one. So did I just recruit him? Well, he's going to get fired. I'm so sorry. It's a misunderstanding. We didn't actually want to recruit you. Ah. Uh, that was an accident. Yeah, there's really not much to do here. Alright, who's gonna let me talk bad about the faction? A plus six, not that bad. 25 points a turn, we can do it in two turns. Alright. Alright, nothing really crazy going on, so we're good. Just invest the money into buildings. About to get a rebel in here. Was not expecting that. We'll probably just summon some generals. We have some to spare. A lot of reforms timed out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably just going to keep it as is. Maybe we do this. For the corruption reduction that net us a lot of income from the silk that's being lost right now. Or we trust this 10% though, it's not a lot. All right, we use that. Same thing in Jinchong. I think we're going to be fine once all these corruption reduction come online, but before then, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so we do have a level 4 now, but it's going to go to a silk level 5. Okay, let's enter. Alright, finally a very peaceful enter. And we're going to leave our episode here. So we got a Nunman Rebellion here. No items. So someone mentioned how the first few Nunman re Rebels always carry some sort of gold item. Not true. Uh, no item here. I think maybe because we used it up with our yellow turbans. I think it's always a chance. It's always luck based. So they're popped all the way over here. They're moving really fast. Um, we're obviously going to go wipe them out. 
Um, pretty confident they can do it. They're trapped inside the settlement. We do need one turn to... No, we don't. There's no walls. So we'll take care of Mulu next time. In terms of who we're dealing with, a lot of Queen Zhuro. King Meng Huo, we kept him alive because I want to see if we can get a Zhuge Liang event. It's not efficient. Probably should have wiped him out. Uh, but we are missing both of these pieces, which we're going to go get. And then once we get this, I think Mulu is wiped. Not sure if he has these, but at least it looks like he might be wiped. And then this army will go back, wipe them out, and they will all go south. Wipe this part out, take care of all of this. We'll try to confederate Shi Xie. And then we can play to our attention to Emperor Seats, uh, which is very delicate. I'm not sure if we want to flip against Kingdom of Drone right now. I think if we do it right now, it might trigger us into a war with Kingdom of Wei as well, because the alliance is probably not going to come in together. Uh, but we'll see. If he declares war on them before we do, that would be really good, because then we can individually declare war and build our relationship with them as we wipe them out. We're going to lose some territory when that fight actually starts. And the most important thing for us right now is to fix our corruption because that's just killing our income and we can't really afford that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and see you guys next time. Bye!